Hello everybody, today we're going to go ahead and demonstrate one of our brand new items. Now this is going to be our chicken rotisserie machine. Um, we'll go ahead and give you a little demonstration right now. I want to go ahead and first give you the overall dimensions of the unit so you have an idea. For the length, you're going to be looking at about 48 inches of the length. For the depth, it is going to be 18 inches. And this unit will stand at about 74 inches high from ground to top. As you can see, the unit does have wheels as well, so you can move it around as well, okay? Now in the front, we have our doors right here. They are going to be glass doors. You have handles right here as well. We'll open them up. If we go ahead and open them up, let's go ahead and give you the inside dimensions. Inside dimension, you're looking at about 12 inches, one foot for the depth. Now for the length, you're looking at about 36 inches, three feet. And the overall height from the inside, you're going to be looking at about 67 inches, okay? Now inside we have our burners. You're gonna have a total of nine burners inside as well as the brackets or the lines. You have nine. For each bracket or line, you, you can fit five whole chicken, okay? So a total of 45 for this unit. Five for each line, you have a total of nine. So you have capacity of 45 chicken you can do at one time. Now over here on the side, we have our switches. If you can take a look over here on the top, we have a light switch for the inside. We also have a fan switch. You also have a temperature adjuster for each line, each burner. You're gonna have a total of nine of these, okay? Also, you have a switch right here for the rotation for each line, okay? So there is rotation for each line as well. Over here on the other side, you have the handle right here. Now, you have the option, there's three, there's an option of uh, changing the line right here. So if you wanna hook it up closer to the burner, uh, so you can cook faster, you can do that. You have, uh, you can also hook it up to the very front. Maybe you want to slow cook it, you can do that. If you take a look over here, there's three adjustments that you can do. Three adjustments that you can do. And that's going to be for every line. Now over here on the back of the unit, we will have our plug. This unit will run on either natural gas or propane. And you also have an electric function, so it has two functions. The uh, electric function is going to run on 110, so it's a standard plug. Just hook it up to your regular outlet. And then your plug or intake for the gas is going to be right on the bottom. So the unit will run on electric and gas. Now over here on the top, you have your sticker. More information on the unit. For example, the model, voltage, frequency, you can check out on that sticker right there in the back. Now it is going to be an all stainless steel unit. It does have a sticker over here on the side that you can take off, peel off. This is just to prevent it from getting scratched on the way to you uh, or on the way to uh, chipping. Now, as I explained before, it is gonna run on natural gas or propane. That's for the cooking and then electric to be for the rotation and the lighting of the unit, okay? Now, if you have any other questions regarding this unit, go on our website, coolerdepotusa.com. That's where you'll find all the information regarding this unit, including the price and more pictures will be on there as well. Now, if you have any other questions regarding this unit that's probably not on the website or that we didn't cover on this video, feel free to give us a call and we'll help you guys out with any questions you might have. Thank you.